CV2X for us is a, a general concept that includes vehicle to network connectivity, starting with safety applications, but then being much, much more in terms of convenience, efficient transportation, uh, and including um, infotainment and, and entertainment applications. Steve Bell, uh, TU Automotive at the 5GA event, uh, covering the uh, industry changes that are coming about. And I'm joined by Thierry Klein from Nokia. Um, there was a lot of discussion this morning about the technology. Um, I mean, essentially, LTE Vehicle 2X is really a focus on safety. Um, can you talk a little bit about that in terms of what it's doing at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. So, so we think very much of um, LTE as the, the foundation and uh, towards CV2X and actually part of CV2X. CV2X for us is a, a general concept that includes vehicle to network connectivity, vehicle to vehicle connectivity, vehicle to roadside infrastructure, but also vehicle to pedestrian, vehicle to cyclist. And starting with safety applications, but then being much, much more in terms of convenience, efficient transportation, uh, and including um, infotainment and, and entertainment applications. Uh, so we start with the, the safety, but it's much, much broader in terms of the capabilities that are enabled by CV2X. So there was a lot of discussion about 5G new radio. Um, <clears throat> why does it need a new radio? So when we, um, when we think about the use cases that you would support for connected mobility, a lot of the use cases we can support already today, but as we scale out the number of cars that we connect, as we scale out the, the applications that we run for safety or convenience or, or uh, efficiency, it becomes a capacity question, it becomes a coverage question, it becomes a reliability question, and it becomes a latency question. A lot of these applications in the future for automated driving will require very low latency where we need 5G. As we share information from sensors in each car with cars around it, we need more capacity, and that's really where we need the 5G capabilities, where we can support the use case already today, but as we grow the number of use cases, as we scale the number of cars that we connected, we really need the 5G capabilities to support that more globally. So for the, for the uninitiated, new radio isn't really a new radio, it's about a new waveform, right, on, on the same frequency. Yeah, it's an evolution <laughs> of the technology we have right now to uh, make better use of the wireless spectrum. So, uh, in terms of a timeline from standards, what, what sort of timeline are we talking about? So, I think the um, LTE V2X is, has already been standardized last year. We're in the process of standardizing uh, this year the, uh, the 5G uh, new radio V2X. And, okay. and there, was, there was also a lot of conversation about ecosystems and new services. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think. Um, the, again, broadly, the ecosystem will be from, from the technology, from the devices, uh, but really also the applications, and, and that starts with the OEMs. Uh, it starts with a lot of other application providers in the smart transportation, smart mobility, even if we expand it beyond safety. And one interesting example is if you think about roadmaps. Uh, we started to think, think about roadmaps uh, as a convenience for finding your fastest way to get to your destination, but more and more roadmaps will be used as a safety for autonomous cars so they know where everything is, they know where the other cars are and so forth. So some of these new applications will really take the safety and, and blend safety and convenience applications. So uh, there was a lot of excitement in the room, a lot of excitement of people trying to get in there. Are you seeing a lot of excitement in terms of customers talking to you about this as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's uh, it's just when you look at 5GA, uh, we have we started with eight members. We have 110 members. I think that's just a, a testament to the excitement about this and the need for collaboration. So I think there's quite a bit of momentum, and and it will just as the deployments will start uh, rolling out from a from a larger scale and commercial perspective beyond the trials and proof of concepts. I think the the wave is just unstoppable right now. Siri, thank you very much for your. Thank you very much. Time. My pleasure. Thank you.